All right, now you know the Bears. We got a upcoming game this weekend. Yeah, I'm tripping. We played a uh, Tennessee at noon. I don't know if it's gonna be on national TV. Either way, I got NFL Sunday ticket. I'm in the Atlanta market, so I had to get it. They took my money, but we got some hope. Really, this might be the second time in a long time. I guess you could argue Jay Cutler, but we were happy when we got Justin Fields. However, we supposed to have this the the next guy, a generational talent, in Caleb Williams. And I've been following Caleb's whole career since he was in high school in DC. I saw him in Oklahoma, I saw him at USC, and I, I've been watching the preseason games, uh, you know, prior to him. Obviously, he's a starting quarterback. So, a lot of people have been saying, you know, he's the next thing, and people have been comparing him to Patrick Mahomes, and it just, basically, people feel like we we were tanking for Caleb Williams, and we was lucky enough to get the first second overall pick, first overall pick, I'm tripping. We traded Justin Fields to Pittsburgh, and, you know. So here's my thing. I watched his preseason games. He can spin it. He can spin it. <laughs> I give him that. But let's just hold off. Let's watch him go up against future Hall of Famers, uh, all pros, linebackers, D-line. We got to watch him go up against the best of the best first, you know. But can he throw it? Absolutely. Is he going to be able to throw it when it matters? And I think a lot of people also have to remember he's a rookie. You remember, I remember growing up, they would give a quarterback at least three to four years. And a lot of times, a lot of them would set out their first year or set out majority of the season. You know, if I remember right, Michael Vick sat out most of the time his first year in Atlanta. But now, there's so much money in the league, I guess, you know, they got to find out now. <laughs> A team can draft a quarterback. Uh, what was Tennessee's quarterback? They trade uh, tra drafted the brother um, Malik Willis. They drafted Malik Willis, and within the second year, the second year they was already drafted another quarterback. It's in a win now mentality. The Bears is in a win now mode. They got the key pieces, the all pro, all pro pro bowlers. But man, it's just it's gonna be a lot of expectations. Now Caleb says he's ready for it. He says he's up for the challenge, and uh, and if he can win a couple of Super Bowls. He will be bigger in that city than Michael Jordan. I don't care what nobody say. If the Bears win a couple of championships, Caleb's going to be that guy. And he's going to be up there with Mahomes as far as endorsement deals because Chicago is arguably the best city when it comes to sports. It just is. Cheap when it comes to management. You know, thank thank God we finally got the, the, the proper management team. But, you know, when it comes to sports, come on now. They about to get a new stadium and all of that. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Justin Fields out there getting destroyed his last couple of years so i just hope that doesn't happen for caleb williams and like i said do he does is it promising yes am i excited yeah did i spend my hard-earned money to get nfl sunny ticket to watch every snap of his yeah but let's just hold off you know let's just give it a little time and let's see what he does first and like i guess it's only his first season people think he might go to the super bowl this year so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it i mean it's promising but you know y'all let me know below what y'all think